we welcome, you know, Michael Cole, MC Epi Live number 89. First of all, thank you guys for hanging out. 89 episodes, man, we've been coming together. <laughs> I think we're going on 18, 19 months, and we're, I think we're just getting warmed up. And tonight is the night of all nights, and number 89, we, we actually have a, uh, a, uh, so, a Summit Social Media Master that we featured, I think it was like uh, episode 83, and we have her back for an encore. She's just an extraordinary uh, social media master, Miss Allison Rodriguez-Jones, and so yeah, I'm going to tell you about it, but first we're going to... And uh, let me qualify her because we're before we get into the conversation tonight is a brand new kind of innovative discovery that a Allison has made and her and I have been talking and we keep uh, kind of morphing it and rounding it out. We're calling it Exploding Referrals with this new kind of guest that we're calling Guest Influencer. I think you're going to find this to be really, really interesting. Um, so for starters, it, for those of you that haven't read, uh, you know, didn't watch the episode, Allison is uh, one of the, uh, uh, it's a family-owned uh, salon company, Salon Bella Vie, Plymouth, Michigan. She's 29. She's a level 4A. She's a shareholder in the family biz. Salon opened 2009. Salon went to Summit in 2015, and that's when it, you know, really went down. <laughs> Summit coach Shannon Holland Rusher, so those guys have been hanging. They, they know how to do that deal. Um, and uh, it, her, her rise has been extraordinary. So pre-Summit, Allison was hanging around at a $30,000 W-2. She goes to Summit last quarter. It doubles in uh, 2015 to 60, goes up to 80, and she's trending to crack and will crack $100,000 uh, W-2. Working a four-day work week. I mean, we were rehearsing tonight, and I saw her with the two little kitty cats. She's got a beautiful daughter, beautiful son. So she uh, she's into it. 25 guests a week, $2,400 a week, average service ticket $125. When you benchmark, benchmark that against her haircut, it's $51, so she's well over twice. Rebooks, uh, $51. Uh, running at 240 referrals this year, so she's like the salon's referral uh, rate maker on steroids, right, you guys? Um, she's, you know, she's hitting all the right marks on social media. Just upgraded to an iPhone Plus. So did I, and I'll tell you what, she's going to talk to you about the difference that made. Um, she's doing, out of her 25 guests a week, she's probably uh, photo shooting, and it really now she went from taking pictures to photo shoots. Uh, 15 guests, four to five times she'll post. She's all over the board on Instagram uh, and Facebook, both her business page as well as the salons. So uh, in a nutshell, she's going to be talking, but I'm going to set her up and then bring her in. But she's going to be talking about this whole idea between the difference between a guest that's following us and a guest influencer. So we just I wanted to give you some bullet points. Who are these guest influencers? A guest influencer is a guest that's got above average number of social media followers. I think uh, Facebook tells us about 300, 325 followers are following the average person that has a page. Uh, a guest that's a influencer would be double, triple, quadruple that. Allison's going to be talking about one of her guests that's uh, at a couple thousand followers. Um, the, the guest has not only got a lot of followers, but the guest who loves reposting your pictures on their pages and that they're posting them with great reviews of their experiences with you. So you can see they not only got a lot of followers, but they're saying wonderful things about you and putting the content that you create of them on their page. Are you beginning to get the gist of this? Because we're teaching a new language. Guests that use your pictures to also upgrade their profile. Allison's going to give you an uh, example of that. Guests that get very high engagement when they do that on their page, because every, every friend that is engaging on the, their post is a perspective referral. That's how we make, you know, and, um, most important guests that get you lots of referrals as a result of doing all this stuff. Can you see how stoked up I am? Because we have made a new discovery. I think we're tapping it. So she's going to be, um, I'm going to be bringing her up and she's going to be talking about one of her guests uh, and this is Ashley. Ashley is a guest influence, 
uh, a guest influence on steroids at 2,000 followers. So she's really uh, she's really the bomb. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to bring uh, on Allison now, and then we're going to we're going to start the interview because uh, we got a lot that we want to talk about tonight. So um, there she is. Give it up for Miss A. <laughs> Did you hear me bragging on you? Then. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Well, I want to get right into it, Allison, and really have you tell us about this, you know, discovery that you made and this this person you and I've been talking about all week, Ashley, your 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 guest influencer on steroids at a couple thousand followers, and tell us about your experience with her. Okay, so. First of all, she does. She has a lot of followers on Facebook. She's got about 200, or I mean, 2,000 friends. Um, and so that's your perfect guest influencer um, client. That's the person that you want to be thinking about when you're thinking about taking photo shoots and sharing those pictures with them. So Ashley is that guest that on the way to her hair appointment, she's taking pictures and posting them saying, I'm so excited to get my hair done. I'm on my way to go see Allison. And then while she's in my chair, she's Snapchatting, like, look, I'm with Allison and her associates. And then, like, when she's almost done, she's like, I can't wait to see what my hair looks like. And she's posting that. And then afterwards, I take a picture of her and she posts it. So in my mind, that was my perfect guest influencer. So um, before her appointment, uh, the day before, we were texting and talking about what we were going to be doing with her hair. And I said, bring a couple of coats. I want to, I want to do a content shoot with you. And, um, you know, we're going to do a couple different looks. Are you down for that? She was like, I'm down. So she did. She brought like four coats and we did a photo shoot. We took 46 pictures and I airdropped them to her right after her appointment. And when she got home, probably by the time she got home, those were all on social media and her profile pictures for Instagram and Facebook were already changed. Wow. Well, I mean, so so you really, you just gave us just a great anatomy of, first of all, who she is. And she's so stoked about this that she's actually sharing her experience before she gets to the salon. I mean, she's already oh, posting yeah. and blogging. And then, you know, there's stuff. Sounds like she's uh, Snapchatting her experience when she's in the oh, yeah. chair in real time with you. Yes. I mean, and then, and then, so th then you're saying as you get to know each other, I mean, the dance is getting more interesting. All of a sudden she comes in, you're telling her to bring in, I don't want to say a, a wardrobe, but you know. Oh, a, I, I did, it's a wardrobe. I was like, yeah, bring a few looks. And, and you, you go from taking pictures, this now looks, is beginning to look like a photo shoot to me. How many pictures did you take on that last one? Uh, I took about 46 pictures. I think when I airdropped them to her, by the time I eliminated the ones that weren't like, you know, her eyes were closed or whatever. I think there was about 46 of them. Oh my God. And so, and, and did you, you're also saying that you took the 46 pictures and airdropped them in real time, right? While she's there, you got yes. your mobile, she's got her mobile, you're airdropping and she's like receiving your content. Yes. Oh, I mean, this is so cool. Allison, I'm in salons that don't even understand what airdrop technology is. And, and, and you're engaged with her in real time. So now she's uploading some of that content on her page. And I think you told me, uh, told the viewers that she, she actually took one of the pictures and re used it to replace her profile picture on her uh, Facebook page. Yes. Yep. Uh, and then, so she's, she's doing all that. So as a result of that, how much engagement, would, I'm assuming you're watching her, her, oh, yeah. her friends and family kind of making comments. What kind of comments are you seeing uh, that are happening in real time as she's doing this? So not only did she post all the pictures, so we've got that post on, you know, the Facebook feed. We've got the post where you see, you know, that she uploaded however many pictures she uploaded um, and people are commenting on that post. And then they're commenting on each individual picture. Uh, yeah, picture, and then they're also commenting on the on the news feed where it's saying Ashley Ann updated her profile picture. So I had three different posts I was checking to see what people were saying and the engagement that we were getting. And then I, because I'm on her, I'm like I'm watching this too, and you you put a just what I think is a brilliant comment in there. Yours is all over. Do you remember what you said, and can you share that with the guests because it was just extraordinary. 
I believe I said so beautiful. I had so much fun with your photo shoot today. Um, yeah, yeah. And know, look, and, like, and thank you for letting me change it up. Looking forward to seeing yes. you. Like I read it, I, I think I did a little cut and paste and dropped it in one of my PowerPoints. And I think yeah. she said somewhere in in her blog, she was talking a little, you know, about her experience with you. Yes. Yep. And uh, I did get some messages in my um, inbox right away. People were direct messaging me. Um, even had somebody ask me how much for a photo shoot. Wow. I think they were confused if I was the stylist or the photographer. Right, well, and what's really cool is that you've really kind of expanded your craft now that really photography, photo shoots, picture taking, you know, whatever you want to call that now is a big part of your chairside manner. I mean, you've really brought social media and integrated it into the guest experience. It's almost like this now new, highly unique, sustainable value added gift with purchase, what we used to call, what was it, glamour shots. You yes. took it and, and it's been a gift. And now you've got some of her friends inquiring, how much would you charge me, you know, to, you know, to make me over? And also with the photo shoot as if the photo shoot is an ancillary charge. Yeah, we took her, you know, her regular balayage or highlight appointment and um, maybe one picture appointment and turned it into a hair makeover. My associate gave her a complete um, makeup fit. You know, she did her makeup for her, gave her a complete different look. And then we went outside and took a ton of pictures. Well, and so I really want the, uh, the, the, the viewer to really get this because you're a 4A, you have an associate. So part of your associate training now is you've you've added another mo almost module to that you you're looking to your associate you've trained them to do the make up for of part of the makeover so that that's the on ramp to the photo shoot yes i um my associate happens to be amazing at makeup um and so that's great but for those people who either a don't have an associate or B, aren't amazing at makeup their self, that's okay. I mean, most of us, I think, are doing our makeup before work, so we know the basics, and we probably know more than our guests just because we're in the beauty industry. So really important to give them that experience, even if you are not a makeup artist in your salon. Wonderful. Well, I also, you know, there's a lot of things on my mind. I got about five minutes left with you, but I want the guests to know that you and I have been engaged in a conversation. Luke Huffstetter, who is the Summit's uh, social media you know, team, but we're, we're in conversation with you. We'd love to have you as part of our faculty because we're moving into social media training, and you're, you're, you are one of two salon owners that uh, really uh, are into this as both hairdressers. You're coaching your people. Uh, I'm going to jump on an airplane to come and see you, as well as Sherry, uh, Shelly Neff, who, who you've met. So I really want the viewer to really kind of look forward to that debut in 2018. I, I think it's going to be extraordinary. I can't wait. It's going to be so exciting. Now, while I have you, there's a couple other things, because you and I were chatting, and, and you, you said, oh, my God, I got an iPhone 8 Plus, and, and, and you said it really, you could even see the step up in the quality of that camera from your seven. I mean, you were in a seven plus before you yeah. stepped up. So talk a little bit about the difference that that has made. And then I want you to tell the part about the, you, your staff member that actually went from wherever they were, they stepped up and, and um, I'm going to see if I can find their, the two pictures while you're talking about that so that uh, the viewer can see it. Okay, great. So yeah, um, we just, yeah, you know, my husband and I were like, we got these new phones. Like, we're in this industry where you have to stay on top of technology. You can't hang out at a, at a six. You can't hang out at a six S. You can't hang out at a seven. You gotta, you gotta get on it. Gotta get those upgrades. Gotta get the new phone. Um, it made a huge difference. I already think that my pictures looked great. I really do. I'm very confident. I think I did an amazing job taking pictures, but. The 8 Plus has taken my pictures to the next level. They look like photo shoot pictures. They look very, very professional. My uh, One of our stylists, her name is Silvana, she's been with us since the beginning. She's been with us before Summit. Her pictures were okay. They were mediocre. They were, um, they were 
All right, and then they got a little better, and then she got the new phone. They're incredible. Her pictures are top-notch now. She went from okay to amazing. And when, when we're done chatting before I sign off tonight, I'm going to actually, I have both, you sent me the, the two pictures, you know, like the pre-picture, the pre, what is it, did she up, step up to a seven or a six? Um, she was at a six and then a seven, and now she's at an eight plus. Okay, so I'm going to show the, the, the audience um, th those pics when we're done chatting. So that was a that was a very 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 big deal, and you and I were chatting. When you don't know that, you're thinking, "Gee, this person really needs more training on photography." And it's like, "No, no, they need to step up the technology because if the technology is right, it's where the hairdresser moves from being a hairdresser only to a top notch photographer." But it's all about the generation of the iPhone. Oh, it's insane! Like the camera is incredible. Yeah, wonderful. Well, thank you for, you know, adding that. Now, as we were chatting, I was looking at some of the, the comments that were coming in, and, and one of them was when, when I said you were trending 100,000, somebody couldn't believe, they went, now, is this W2, is this take in? And, and I said, I, I want them to know, no, no, this is your W2, that those numbers that I was showing, you went from 30,000 to 60 to 70, and now you're, you're going to crack 100 grand this year. Yes, my haircuts are 51. Um, like you said, my average stick is about 125. Um, I'm booking on the 45 with my associates. Every 45 minutes, a new guest is coming in. And um, yeah, social media is huge. Like you said, I'm the salon rainmaker, um, uh, referral rainmaker. The referrals pile in. A lot of times I can't take them. And I love that. I love building my team. But yeah, I'm, I'm trending at 100K. Yeah. Well, I can count on two fingers the, the salon owners that I think that, that they're equal to or greater than the most skilled, uh, you know, 20-something, you know, uh, millennial that's, you know, like grew up on Instagram. You, you're, you're, there's no one in your company that, that, that really holds a candle to what you understand about handheld, mobile, digital, social media, monetizing social. And you're, you're, you're really pioneering new waters, and that's why it's just so inspiring to hang out with you. I mean, you and I just like geek out all the time on this stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's so exciting. All right. um, and now I just want to add, I think when, when everybody's watching and they see Silvana's pictures, I want them to think to themselves, am I the before picture or am I the after picture? I think everyone, no, I think most of the people watching are going to be the before picture and got to get out there and get the new phone. Yeah, nice, nice. Well, listen, we're we're out of time, and and really, one of the things I want to continue our conversation is I want I'm I want to put this in a in a step one, step two, step three, step four. I've got some ideas that I want to think out loud with you, and then uh, you know we're going to be hanging out because I'm gonna if I have my way, you're going to be part of the uh, Summit Social Media team, and Luke's excited about it. So you know I want to kind awesome. of wish you a happy uh, Thanksgiving, and we'll pick up where we left off in a couple of days. Yeah, and I'll see you in December. Yes, you will. So thanks a lot. Give it up one more time for Mr. Allison. All right, I'm going to let you go because I got other work to do, but this was just, this was a best yet. This is the best interview that we've ever done. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. I love it. Bye-bye. Bye. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This, this, was, uh, this was big boom, boom time, guys. This really was big boom boom time. So I want to really kind of recap what you know what you know where she is in in what she's uh, what she's doing that that really made the difference. First of all, her uh, um, oh I got to bring I got to bring this back up here so that you guys can see what what I'm up to here. Uh, let's see studio here we go. This should be pulling up. I just I want to recap what what she talked about because her her. Uh, her, her uh, tutorial was extraordinary. So, you know, uh, the guest influencer, we, you know, we, we covered that. But she, she really talked about um, the, the, that, you know, her guest, uh, Ashley, is such her, her uh, and this was her picture, by the way, that she posted. This is what she changed up on her, uh, updated on her profile picture. This one's got 2,000 followers, a lot of comments. 
Uh, Allison made a comment. You look wonderful. Thanks for coming in. It was a great time. Look forward to seeing you again. Thanks for letting me change up the look. So all the right stuff. Um, and and she and and uh, Ashley's uh, review in one sentence, endorsing and supporting and just really sharing her extraordinary experience uh, of having Allison, you know, uh, create a, a balayage and a haircut, and then. Um, you know, she comes in and, and the, the documenting before she comes in, she's in the chair, she's, uh, uh, she, she's doing selfies on herself, and she's, um, she's also doing, she's Snapchatting in real time. Now it went from picture taking to photo shooting. Uh, um, uh, Allison's uh, associate it did the makeup to prep for the, for the photo shoot. So it's all the right stuff, gang. I want you to really hang out with this particular uh, video tutorial because it was extraordinary. I'm, we'll edit it, we'll upload it on uh, YouTube because it certainly was a, a big boom boom evening. So give it up for her one more time. And I want to end as we always end. I always like to end by, if you're new to this conversation, uh, the page that you're on, go ahead, like it, save it. It is facebook.com slash Michael Cole OTT, as in over the top. Also hang out with us on Instagram, Michael Cole BGTD, as in boom goes. Uh, the dynamite. I would really strongly recommend now, if there was ever a time to be living on summitsalon.com, this would be the time. If you go to the dot com, uh, you're going to see... Uh, that that if you if you uh, go in menu and and find tools hit the tools you're going to see our calculators you're going to see um, our videos of all of the tutorials that we've made and this is all free stuff you're going to see our uh, app um, and and uh, that we that we uh, our tracking app uh, I'd like you to pick up the over the top because that those are all the scripts that we're using when the guest is in our chair. Pick up the Summit Planner because now we're using the planner to identify what windows of time we have open today, tomorrow, this week, next week, this month, because we're starting to use social media to fill in those openings. So, you know, like I could go on and on and on with all this stuff. I'm just going to tell you to go to summitsalon.com and hang out there. As a matter of fact, in the next few days, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on every single calculator we have, a tutorial an updated tutorial on the planner because things have changed so rapidly in the in the last heck two or three months. Like we we probably have evolved social media twenty years just in the last twelve months and ten years in the last two months. So you have got to stay on this phenomenon. It's nothing. It it, it it's life changing. It's revolutionizing the salon industry, and to not get on this choo-choo train and stay on it and hang out with us, I think is to, to really literally, you know, like, <laughs> miss the boat. So on behalf of uh, Summit Salon Business Partners, uh, uh, Summit Salon Business Center, thank you for continuing to support the show. We've got uh, L'Oreal uh, Professional Products and, and uh, Division. All of their brands from Redken to L'Oreal Professional, to Matrix to Shoe to Purology, Mizani, Kerastase, Baxter, that these are all of the brands that, uh, uh, that support the work that we're doing. So I always like to express gratitude to our sponsors. Thank you very much for allowing us to do that. So I'm going to uh, uh, end tonight as it is and, and welcome you to the, the next Thursday Night Live. We've got a surprise guest on that as well. So I will say... I do.